Hey guys, it's Sean, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3! Sorry, I wanted to do like a little Oprah moment. Um, so this is going to be quite the grand introduction. Um, I haven't played the game in about a month. Uh, it's been... Let's see, last recorded February 7th, if you want to know. And today is... March 1st. So, I'm coming back from a hiatus. By the time you see this, it'll have been... A week or two, I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to backlog videos ahead of time, so that's why it was done in advance. Anyway, I'm getting off track. In this video, we will be starting Act 2 of the game. Every video up until this point has been Act 1, which has been a wild ride, to say the least. I already recapped it at the end of the last video. And if you're binging this, uh, then no time has passed. But for me, a lot of time has passed since playing Act 1. And uh, I'm ready to get into the next one. Uh, something weird happened when I loaded up the game. Um, I had a repeat conversation with Lazel. She had a little exclamation mark over her head. And we talked about... She was like, a crash is near. And she started talking about like, a Kithrak just told me to F off or whatever. And she was really mad about it. And I was like, I'm pretty sure we talked about this like a long time ago. Uh, so she wants to go check out the crash. Uh... We've already checked out the crash and, like, slaughtered literally everybody that was there, so... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. Swift as you know? feet can carry me. But, uh, we will be, uh, looking around a little bit in this village, because, um, apparently there's something in the village I didn't do. Some people commented about it. They were like... Uh, there's like, well, one of these houses I was supposed to go in, or not supposed to go in, but I could have gone in. And there's like a little... Um, dungeon or something? I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to look around for it Anything uh, really quickly and see if I can find it. And then I asked you guys which path I should take into Act 2. And I think the majority of people said that I should go through the elevator in the Underdark. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. I said I was going to hold off and children. do... Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Fascinating. I said I was going to do whatever you guys want me to do. And so... Okay. Maybe don't throw it that hard. What? We'll do that after we Tastes finish this like up. Chicken. No chicken. Dice log fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sours our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. Okay. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Um, okay. Well, first of all, okay. Uh, I did not know that uh, you guys were going to be impressed by the absolute. Hey, you want to trade? The Diary of Lump the Enlightened. And you're going to part with this for only 35 gold? I'll be honest. I don't respect that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to trade anything with you. You're level four. <laughs> level four. <laughs> what about you? I'm feeling hungry. Um, now, if we wanted to do deception, we could get an inspiration point. Maybe we'll piss him off. You're quite elegant for an ogre. Or eloquent, rather, for an ogre. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. We have matching nose rings. Um, let's do, let's do a deception 
um, thingy, because there's really nothing to be gained from fighting these guys. They're gonna be easy. They're level four. So let's see what happens. Oh, did I not get guidance from that? That's okay. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Oh, these not guys. Food? Friend. <laughs> I'm like the fish from Finding Nemo. I'm a friend, not food. I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. Okay. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Okay. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. I see. No talk. So you guys are... So you guys are holed up in a building for this? Forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. We don't want these guys in our camp. Don't do that to these guys. I've seen a few other ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Okay. Alas. Not so much as a nibble. So do these guys just basically food? exist to fight? No, not food. They're so disappointed. That's really too bad. What the dead tiefling? That might be worth a look. What this? Crack support oh, beam. Tastes good. Not bad. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, you want me to hit this? Like honey. Something Must good here, I am. Let's loot the dead tiefling. Tarnished locket. Was this Elden Ring? <laughs> um. So like, wait, can I speak to Dead? That'd be kind of funny. Maybe not turn on Dead. Where? Where is it? It's like, I can never find it. Oh, here it is. No, you can't do it. So I learned that um. You can only speak to undead if they have a green glow to them. Otherwise, they won't talk to you. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. No time to waste. Okay, was this all you guys were talking about? You guys acted like there was more. Volo's Guide to Baldur's Gate. What is this doing over here? Were you reading this? Oh, is this... This is where he got kidnapped. Oh, uh, he had a whole chicken. I can't believe it. Ugh. What follows is the most thorough and accurate account of the city and people of Baldur's Gate, the sordid gem of the Sword Coast. This volume is startlingly accurate, save for the nonsense about the Black Dragon Gate. It is not alive, no matter how many vagrant hags claim otherwise. Commission someone else to draw the map. E. E. V. Oh, wait, what? Is this from, um, Auntie Ethel? Because remember, there was that note in her, um, tea house. And I think she was writing to V. Maybe we'll meet that, that hag some other time. Oh, there's a hatch right here. I haven't been here. Have I? Ooh, I have not. Okay, there's a, well, there's a free potion of healing. Thanks. Um, the wood chest. Some potions in it, potion of invisibility. Um, there's a suspicious poison. Ooh, potion of healing recipe. Right, uh, do I already have that one? Okay. That's curious. What, that? There's a lever back there. Okay. 
Bone cap. Oh, that's like, yeah, alchemical stuff. Ooh, this is like a whole thing. Oh, are we okay? What is this? Moldering casket. A is for Azith and other gods too. Bullywog trumpet. Oh, okay. Failed a survival check. Something over there. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. Um. Is it anything good in there? Whenever you'd like to. Okay. Yeah, a couple scrolls. Um. A robust guardian. Oh no, guys. Whatever we are we gonna do? Uh. How that be? Okay. Well. You know, it was a nice attempt. So I guess we could try to open all these moldering caskets. Or we could keep going. What's this? Ornate mirror. Speak your name. Ooh. I'm a Hara Silverleaf. Why would I say that? I, I have no idea. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, Step forward and declare yourself an ally. Yes, an ally. I'm an ally of your masters. Don't smash the mirror. I have a, I have a feeling we won't get anywhere like that. Okay. I'm stepping back. Here's what we should do. Wasn't there like a diary or something around here? We can just read the diary and get a name. <laughs> we can trick this mirror. It's not even a person, you know? Okay. Get aware there was. A for Azith and other gods. Azith, the god of wizards, all who spend their whole lives learning. He grants their spells, both big and small. For Mistra always yearning. Bane the tyrant, the black hand, makes sure the strong do rule. He spreads his darkness through the land, praised by the harsh and cruel. I almost want to say harsh and critical. Bashaba will bring forth your doom unless you chant her prayer. Split from Timora in the womb, she brings bad luck to spare. Okay, we got a ton of names just now, but I don't know if any of those were inside. Well, worth it for us. Okay, a lot of these caskets actually have nothing. There's a bunch of that. Healer's log. Okay, yeah, this might do it. Okay, patient Samson. Occupation blacksmith. Malady gout. Branley. Cooper. Large wood splinter in hand. Timic swallowed bottle cork. Poor kid. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient Dida, apprentice blacksmith. Minor burns to the face and hands. Okay. Well, I somehow I don't think that any of those people are the names that we need. Okay, I'm gonna take this potion of healing. Wooden desk. No, it's an ink pot and quill. Boring. I guess we're just going to make something up. I was really hoping this seemed like the kind of place where, like, you could find, like, a diary or something and get a name or... No? Summon Classic. The Nut Buster. Oh, my God. Friend. Shovel's Friend Finder. Poo Scraper. These all have like custom names. Poo scraper. Fecund and 
revolting. The abyss is not the worst place this has been. Oh my god, please. Should we give this to Astarian? I feel like he would like it. Hey Astarian, I saw this and thought of you. Okay, let's just try it. You are not my master. Right. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Okay, sure. Um I'm an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. Illentoth. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? Oh no, a quiz. No, my my save on history. Ah, uh, Zolkir, Zastam. That cell sounds evil. He's a foul, wretched creature. What's a Zolkir? You are no Zolkir, but are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? I don't like this quiz, dude. I read a doctor's journal. He used balsam to clean a wound. Acceptable. Finally. I guess the healer's luck did come in handy. Anything in me, what would it be? If you could see anything in me, what would it be? I'd see the ones I love. Weep. No! A poor choice. You will be purged. What? Hmm. Next time's the charm. What the hell is this thing? What the hell? Get back! Oh my god! Is it just like... Wait, is it just like exploding the whole thing? What? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Come on! Oh, this sucks. Okay. Oh. I should have gone over here first. Okay. But still, I think I can actually... No, I can't use sneak attack. Cunning Time action. For a new approach. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, just... the only way out is through. Yeah, I wasted another it. Another day, another fight. Okay, so we just kill this guy. Oh my god, he has one HP left. Unbelievable. Uh, let's see. Is there another one somewhere? Can I attack this thing? Or no? Let me take a look at this. Uh, flame sphere. Well, actually, you know, I don't think I can attack them. Agile Guardian. My path be true. Oh, I didn't even notice you right here. Okay. Stay focused. Uh hey, you know what? Let's no walk up and hit him. <laughs> We've got a crazy weapon after all. Oh damn. Moving. Okay. Okay, so you uh, did a ranged attack on me. Check this out. Eh. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we're gonna be purged. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Oh, I thought we were like done, done. Um. I can't, I can't hit it. Can I attack it with the the zero damage? I can't examine this thing. I'm trying to examine it. It has like eight sphere fuel. Um. So like, what if I use magic missile? Zero damage. Can I attack the ornate mirror? Um. On the move. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh my god! I didn't know this guy was still here. Look at him, he's like opening the coffin like, my friend? Is my friend in there? Yeah. Hey, I don't think there's anything in there, buddy. 
He opened it like eight times. That was really sad. He was like, hello? Sunbeam. <gasps> Dude, we kicked his ass. There's not a, mo there's not a whole lot of fu uh, fuel left. So what if we just wait it out? Look, it's out of fuel. Should mind my step. Okay, so I uh, I lived through your little trap. So now what? Hmm. Next time's the charm. Should we wait for it to go back in? Oh. Yeah, that's right. I'm still here. Oh, come on, Best guys. Stop. Camp soon. Might be a while before there's another oh. rest. You guys need to stop doing that. All right. Anyway. Hi. Right. Are you gonna give me the same quiz? If you are his ally, I know the answers now. And declare it. Okay, I thought so. Only I'm an ally. A true ally of what? You remember stories of Zastam, a powerful lich in Thay who made deals with dark gods. Okay. Oh wait, this is Zastam. He's a great and powerful leader, a foul lich. You are no shall tell me. Okay, so same way. We'll do that. And then I guess me, I'd see my enemies suffering. What? Poor choice. You will be purged. But you said it was weak before. Oh my god. Can you guys believe this shit? When I said I'd love to see the the ones that I love earlier. It said weak. So I say I'd, I'd see my enemy suffering and it said it was pathetic. Wait, where'd it go? Did it go right back in? I thought I was going to do its, its rounds. Can I try again? What, whatever's oh, back here, you. I'd better be Maybe good. You tell me. If you could see anything in me, Look for whatever spell will rid me of the worm in my head. Seek to survive? You seek power. Well, I don't know what this be has to do with anything. Welcome. I'm glad you're finally happy. I'm inspired now. A I'm the mirror master. What were they hiding down here? Yeah, you know, Astarian's inspired too. He's inspired by my, by my finesse in that conversation. You're all inspired, right? Scroll of Featherfall. Oh, I might want to get that actually. Moonhaven logbook. Uh, any names we recognize? Uktar. Oh, wait. Oh, these are. These are these are dates actually. Hmm. See. You turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There are guides for transmuting metals and recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything else, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. Oh! Necromancy! How charming. Fringe Philosophy Volume 5. I don't think I'll be reading that. Let's see, there's, there is a wooden chest here. Lots of scrolls. I might as well just pick them all up. I saw a fireball in there, so that's good. Um, stuffed bear. I doubt a bear this size went down without a fight. Yeah, right. Let's see, go over here. There's a gilded chest. On death and resurrection. I'm starting to notice a theme here. Of what value is a life? Where have we heard that before? Withers. Withers asked us this question. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatext Rebound by Yusefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denaer for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Anyway, of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely. Or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. 
is simply that not all are equally valuable. Okay? Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending plan, uh, planar bound, uh, barriers uh, in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realm wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that those, these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough. For the components for such spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth, have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Withers, is this your diary? I got an achievement for reading a hundred different books. Bracers of Defense. You gain a plus two bonus to armor class. As long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield, that'd be great for Karlak. Or for Gale, too. Could be good for both of them. Y'all got ink pots, huh? Rusted Iron Gate. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Okay. So wait, I disarm. I mean, did it turn on all the lights? I don't know. <laughs> what did the trap do? It's locked. Okay. Well, we're going to My lock pick it. Step aside, Astarian. We got this one. <laughs> that was a cinch. I only got two thieves tools left. <gasps> the necromancy of Fi. They? The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Remember my dark amethyst? A Does it go with this? Book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Where's Gale looks when you need terribly him? Heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? <laughs> Imagine, place the amethyst in the slot on the book's cover. Well, we gotta. I was wondering what you'd do with this. I'm, I, where did I even find this thing? In the Underdark? Ooh. What now? Give the book to a Starian. Absolutely not. Open the book. A Starian disapproves. Yeah, well. The book's pull is irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your Do we lips, know speak with dead now? Words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Saving throw. Turn to the next page. Advantage from Beacon of Hope. Your allies will regain... Okay, they also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws. Oh, yeah! We'll do three. Okay. Um, yeah, you could, you know what? You could bless me too. 
Oh, wait, no. I want this one. Nice. We, we would have gotten it anyway, but sure. The symbols dart the symbols beneath your eyes. Dart beneath your eyes she wasn't starting. Twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. I've still got Beacon of Hope. 15. Okay. Oh my gosh. Imagine rolling a three there. Oof. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs. Only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Saving throw, urge your hand to turn another page. 20. No! Damn, 20, I mean, that's hard. We could roll again with an inspiration, but at this point we would need to roll a 19 or a 20. Because I've only got a plus one. So that's, I mean, that's a... I guess it's like a 10% chance. Mm. We did like three out of four though. Let's just continue. We didn't quite make it. The That's okay. Scream, searing your mind. You feel lost, tossed in a sea of arcane power you can neither control nor comprehend. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. What, do I get like a permanent debuff or something? Whispers of Madness. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. Wow, sick. So we can't do it again. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, they may be locked away forever. Okay. What if, what if we have... I buy it. What if you go check it out? The book refuses to open. For you, at least. Oh. Mm hmm. Drat. No, me yet. What's this thing? I'm disarming this. Yeah, that's right. Haha. <laughs> Consider yourself disarmed. Mm hmm. I was hoping to. Read the book. Looking ahead. Or perhaps destroy it. Okay, let's uh Another step Well forward. this was interesting. Interesting to say the least. I'm I'm glad that we did that. Um Let's check out Are research notes maybe before we go. Ray's dead. Failed. Gone too long. Body decomposed. Reanimation failed. Came back as ghoul. Had to kill again. Speak with dead. Answers unhelpful. Clone needs living tissue. Had to kill both ghouls. I've reached the limit of my skills and resources. The book offers help. Dare I accept? Huh. I mean, if it... If the benefit was just like you learn speak with dead permanently. Like, that seems fine. Oh, rusted key. Oh, thank you. But, like, we already have that pretty much with uh, Shadowheart's necklace. Oh, I see. Is there, so I got a rusted key. Oh, the rusted key is for the thing that I just passed. Uh, okay. But I, but I already, I already like lock picked it. So that was just to save you a lock pick. Okay. Well, you know, I'm glad I checked that out.
Thank you guys for telling me. Um, we'll be going to the Underdark now. Because I don't believe there's anything else to do. Let's go to the um, Underdark Susser Tree. Underdark Mechanic Colony. Oh, we're going to Grim Forge. Grim Forge, yeah. So we're going to take the elevator now into Act 2. I'm really excited about this, actually. The, the elevator is right here, too. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Now, there's two different ways you can get into Act 2. You can go in through the uh, Get the Yankee Crash Mountain Pass area. Or you can take the elevator. And uh, I asked you guys what you would recommend, and it was fairly split, but I think most people said elevator. So it kind of won out in the end. Let's go ahead and progress. I know it's kind of awkward for me to be like, let's check out this random cellar first, but, you know. I got an achievement. Leave Act 1 for somewhere altogether darker. Ooh. I love a tour to the Underdark. Okay, so we can return. Is that right? Absolutist trunk Exhibition is. Trunk. Eh. Someone there. I'm fine. Astarian, make yourself useful. Go ahead and lock it. Why would you need a skeleton key? Aren't you supposed to be good at this? And you guys were giving me shit for not using a Starion the first time I try. Look what happens. Oh, I'll give him another chance. Good thing we've got nine thieves tools. Yeah, well, we we knew this wasn't what was gonna happen. Yeah, oh, 28. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, honestly, I'm really not impressed by three torches and a couple of potions. So on my way. No, no, no. No, no you are not on your way. I'm on my way. Alright, let's uh let's go up. I'm excited. Act two, here we come. Okay, don't uh, don't fall into the chasm, please. Oof. Hmm. Ooh, absolutist expedition key. Oh, that's like if you want to open the chest that I just opened with with a lockpick. They're way too liberal with these keys. They're like, you want a key? And it's like, uh, I didn't need one. I'm really good at lockpicking. Orders. Let's read this. I have been given the crucial task to clear the entrance to Grimforge for future expeditions. True Soul Near will follow once the entrance is clear. True Soul Near is dead. <laughs> As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help but feel excitement. What might we find here that Ketherick created so long ago, now sealed by the curse? Grimforge could hold untold treasures for the Absolute's uses. I will continue to explore and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble. Quite cursed. Explosives ought to do the job, though I'm not as experienced in such matters as I'd wish to be. I set up the explosives with care, though I admit I'm almost afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold, what might lie beyond, or whether I've even set up correctly. Absolute, protect me! And you blew yourself up, you idiot. <laughs> wow, that one turned out, huh? Yeah, crumpled up against the wall. I guess not so good, huh? My face protects me. No. Nope. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Shouldn't wait, did you say shouldn't have wish shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. My way. What would your wishes have to do with the times in which you live? Ooh. Those shadows. There's power coursing through them. Oddly familiar. 
Better stay on alert. Wow, okay. I've never seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. Ooh, the shadow cursed land. Blaze out, you might not have been able to hear her. She said something about like we've no choice but to push forward. Something's wrong. I feel weak. Drain. The shadow curse is a powerful threat that lurks and devours in the darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid its most lethal effect. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't we have? Don't we have like a light spell? Can't we use it? What am I thinking of? Or did I tell her not to not to take it? Doesn't somebody have the light spell? Am I crazy? I don't understand what I'm doing though. I've got Lathander's light. Let's see. Can I swap out spells right now? <laughs> Let's see. No, it's a cantrip. Or as you guys call them, cantrips. I don't know. I don't know where you guys learned, like, the correct pronunciation for a made-up word like cantrip. But a cantrip is what you do when you collect a bunch of cans and you want to take them to the can bank in exchange for coins, okay? Cantrip means that no matter how hard someone tries, they can't rip that spell away from you. See? That makes way more sense. Can trip. You know, sometimes you guys, like, you guys make this shit sound so uncool. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Okay, did that... Did that do anything? Is this the light that you're talking about? Um, okay. Let's get going. I mean, I should probably dash, right? I'm not really sure I understand... Like, am I going to this? Yeah, it's like lit over here, yeah? Okay. So I'm unaffected by the shadow curse now. Shadow Curse. Without Light Source, you will take necrotic damage every turn. Huh. Okay. Don't touch me. It is a cunning action. There. So, like, right now, are we affected by her light? I think we might be. Okay, so that's the environmental turn. Uh, I can feel the shadow's power here. Let me let me they see. Seem to be harming me. Look, she can be talked to. Um. On I go. No time to rest. Let's talk to her. The shadow curse. Doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. But what about me? Don't get carried away. This could be something else. Carried away? Hardly. The proof is right there. Just be grateful someone can handle this place. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. 
You know, we were uh, we were around a temple like that. I'm gonna exit turn-based mode because I think we're all around this. Yeah, shadow root sack. This is a light, is it not? Uh, we were in a temple, if I remember correctly, in the Underdark, and you had like almost no reaction to it. How much okay, so like. So we stay over here. So we're still in the light, right? That's curious. Huh. This actually doesn't go anywhere, it looks like. Huh. Ooh, gold. Silver chalice. Add to wares. Add to wares. Thank you. Let's have a look. Dead Druid's journal. That might be good. Where are you going right now? Oh my god, four tongs? You shouldn't have. No, seriously, you shouldn't have. Dead Druid's okay, journal. Sure. Any hints? A handwritten journal, abandoned for some 50 years. It details a Druid's attempts to learn more about the Shadow Curse. The entries grow shorter and more sporadic as time passes. I guess not that bad. Made good progress through the mountains. Seeing the curse for the first time filled me with an awe and fear that was difficult to describe. No writing could have prepared me, nor any artist's rendition. As grave as the Archdruid Halsen's warnings were, they were still lacking compared to the reality. I shall make camp soon and press on in the morning, though in truth such terms have little meaning in this place. A dreadful night. The campfire needed thrice the wood that would normally be needed in order to keep it burning. Terrible sounds came to my ears from beyond the firelight. Rest has not restored me. If anything, I feel weaker. But I must persevere. I must trust in Sylvanas. That's so weird hearing them talk about Sylvanas. After... Well, I played, I played a lot of Hearthstone in Heroes of the Storm back in the day. Never played Warcraft. I must venture further, deeper. Creatures from the darkness, foul things. One grades me. Only my torch saved me. Deep darkness. Flames are instantly doused. The wound stings. Flesh is turning black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. I need to return to light. The wood will not burn. I can barely see the page. I am surrounded. Something to do with the shadow curse? I truly hope this blight isn't spreading. Something tells me that note had something to do with the shadow curse. Hmm. I'm having to use all my brain power right now to figure it out, but I think that might have had something to do with the shadow curse. I don't know. It's just what it's telling me. So, what am I? Am I how long does light last? Oh, until long rest. Okay. What to do? So like, Very well. if I have a torch, I'm guessing a torch doesn't do anything for it, right? I'm not sure I quite understand the shadow curse, cause like we're fine right now. Is it cause these things are, are lit up for us? Oh, what are these guys? Harper. What the? Well, maybe let's go talk to them. Watch the shadows. Well, I mean, they're right there. Hell, let's talk to them. Why not? Hi, guys. We we mean you no harm. Stay together. Keep to the light. Why, why did you do that? Ugh. My name is Hafner Idea. Who are you? A nightmare in the dark. Someone who will snap both of you and your weapons in two unless you lower them. 
Uh, my name is Have No Idea. Yes, come closer. Hands up. Okay. Okay, I saved. My fail saved. Made my save failed. Pretty impressive, huh? Jonas, look out! What? Oh my god, he got killed by the grudge. Those things are out there. Where are you? Jonas? Can you see our torches? I can't see anything. So something's wrong. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? Okay. These guys are just trying to survive, I think. Let's fight this thing together. I'm ready for a fight. I'm down. What? What is this thing? Oh, no. Stop your mewling. It's time to fight or die. Choose. I'll take care of this. Now nah, I'll say barbarian. No, nah, no, nah, I'll Do say this. Get hold of you. Harpers, now! So wait. So they're called harpers. Sorry. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> There's no model for it. Oh, that's not a bug. Okay, so let's see. Resistance to physical attacks makes sense. Not that resistant, though. I mean, it just halves them. I mean, it's got resistance to everything. It's immune to necrotic and immune to poison. Makes sense. Vulnerable to radiant. Shadowheart is going to have a field day with these guys. Okay. Armor class 13, though, that's pretty good. And what, there's six of them? That's not counting, uh, Jonas. Harper Jonas. Temporarily hostile, is what it says for him. So we can knock this guy out? Shadow cursed undead. Those who die in the shadows are cursed to remain there forever. These undead have reduced hit points and strength, are resistant to necrotic damage, and cannot use spell or weapon actions. Okay, so I'm guessing we don't want to kill this guy. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm raging. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit this guy, actually. So I got hit by the shadow curse just now. The shadow vestige. What is that? That can wait. Now is not the time. What does the shadow vestige do? Okay, I went back into the light. Is there any way to like see? I mean, I guess it shows with the the cursor. Okay. I just have never had any point to, to use it before. They've all got torches out, so I guess having a torch in your offhand helps. Okay. No. What about this thing? Where'd they go? Shadow blend. Make every strike count! Is there any way that we can get the curse off of him? I'm wondering. Um, I know you guys were like, you need to get a better bowl for a Starion, but like, I don't think I have one. You gotta get one. Uh, okay. So I'm in the light right now. Hmm. 
Let's get this guy. A 10 damage, it's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. If I go up here, I'm in the light. Or I'm not actually, but I'm gonna hide. Okay. He took some damage, whatever. Lazel, so taste my fury. I missed. Okay. Hmm. I could action surge. Yeah, I'll do it again. What? So what is this shadow vestige thing? I don't understand what this is. Do we have to like destroy that? Strength drain. This guy, do you know what's happening right now? I'm not, I'm not convinced that this guy knows what's happening. Okay, um... Have to keep going. I mean, I could... Oh, Sunbeam. Okay, I got him. Now, I, I ended up hitting myself too, but, like, I deleted them just now. That was sick. That was really cool. The shot finished! So what about the vestiges? Now is not the time. What do you mean now is not the time? Okay. Um, is there let's let's it says he's temporarily hostile. But I'm gonna I'm gonna toggle non-lethal attacks. I think you can take me on. Um Okay, so I I knocked him out. Let's loot him. <laughs> I decided to take some gold. Hope that's okay. He had one gold on him. Dark currents. Astarian's hiding up here. Whoa, whoa. She's... There we go. Now I'm still I'm still hiding, right? So leave no trace. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, sorry, it's just gonna hang up there for hang up there, hang out there for a while. Um. Wait, where's the shadow? Uh, okay. Wow, I did one damage. Sick. Yeah, I'm coming over. Okay. I'm gonna move Shadow Heart this way. Just to back up a starian up here. Um, let me see. Can I hit? I can, but it's really far away. Oh, I did five damage from that far away. Hell yeah. You're dashing. Okay. I mean, do I really have to? One damn. Oh, come on. One HP. be on my way now I've got light I mean if I move oh, okay that's good come on out hmm it's really annoying now I wonder can I plot a torch and we'll see it 
Do I happen to have that by any chance? <laughs> Do I have another torch? You know, they should all have torches. I don't know why... I haven't done that. Let's see... Yeah, I think I've only got one torch on me over here. Oh, let's add that to where's that copper ring. Um, hmm. Okay. Swift and lethal. Well, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. Okay, she's good. Um. Familiar? Is there like a familiar that can create light by any chance? No. I guess I understand why. I guess I'll just. Oh! Spotted by Shadow in a Clear Lit Area. They make you. See, they make you sound so stupid when they do that. It's like, um, the shadow spotted you. You were clearly lit up. What, what just happened? Okay. Oh my god, there, there they are. Um... Here, let's, uh, let's toggle that. Thander's light. Yeah, so they're blinded right now, right? Or are they? Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's just attack them with main hand attack. I'm really curious what to do with these, um, vestiges. Excuse me. We'll kill him right here. Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Alayzel had the map? What's the safe place? Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Mm. Wait, why are you talking to Lazel right now? All right, safe place. You mean somewhere the shadows can't penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Okay, yeah. Help us move out. We can talk about Moonrise Towers later. Um. Huh. Sorry. Um. Okay, yeah. What were we doing? Where is it? Okay. Oh, it's right here. Last light in. Okay. And that's to the east? Meet Va Kithrak Vossif. Oh, yeah, because he went. He came to our uh, camp. I forgot about that. Can't give up now. Best be on okay. my way. Um, yeah, let's go to the inn. <sighs> you guys are crazy. So, wait. Oh, my gosh. I don't really care if I take, like, two necrotic damage. You know? So, this guy's not dead, is is he? He's dead! But I, I, I turned on non-lethal attacks, I thought. It said temporarily hostile. What does this thing do? You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. So this is like who they were. In her former life, this girl played in the oh, wow. woods. She was always the best at climbing trees. He had dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. But then the darkness came. No time to waste. That's too bad. Fear! 
Like I thought I was all lit up. It's well lit ends. Okay. Not as bad as it could have. You sense a young woman gazing at moonrise towers in awe. Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it, she hopes. A night orchid. Wait, doesn't Shadowheart like those? These Slim Shady? Everything. I could have sworn she told me that. Maybe I'll give it to her at the next camp scene. I don't know. Ooh. What's, What's up here? Oh my god. Come Lockpick. On, and let's do that. Listen, hey, it's not a one, and I still got it. At least it wasn't a critical fail, am I right? Okay. So I can still go that way for a while, but I think maybe not for now. Let's go to the, the last light in if we can. That's to the east. Oh, wait. Oh, that that is the way. Wait, no. It's this way, sort of, I think. There's a raven here. Oh <gasps> that we can has been corrupted by the shadows. Would be wise to leave it alone. Okay, so that's not like a speak to the dead thing. So I guess so if I have speak with animals and speak with dead. Then I can speak to dead animals, is that right? Oh, what a terrible chest. I mean... Hmm... It's been corrupted, though. Yeah, we'll leave it alone for now. Wait, is that... Can this I go through here? Is protected. Must oh. be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. Yeah, let's get in there. No shadows here. Be keeping it at bay. Yeah, here we are, right? You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! She's with me. Come. Jahira! What? She's a character from uh, Baldur's Gate 2. She's a bit older here. Okay. Wow, I was I didn't know that. Um, yeah, so I think I mentioned this before that I played a bit of Baldur's Gate 2. Not much, but I do actually remember this character. I remember because I wanted to romance her. I think she was a romance option in that game. I'm guessing not in this one, but who knows. Um, I'm trying to remember. What, what do I remember about her personality? She's pretty prickly from what I remember. <laughs> As you can see... Not so much as a hello before we're brambled, right? Jahir, is it? I'm half near idea. And I assure you, now this is necessary. If I have to these finds apart, I will. And I'll do the same to you. You have to the count of five to let me go. Let's let's be diplomatic for now. I assure you it is. I saved your soldiers, and this is the thanks I get? We don't need an explanation. I don't think- actually, we do need an explanation. Absolutely. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know...
It's that it knows its own kind. Oh, is that a mind flare worm parasite? You should never have come here, true soul. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not a true soul. Stop! What's she doing? She's the one who saved us! What? She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Hell yeah! Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet, too. My choices I matter. Much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? So, Jahira, let's say you and I make it for lost time. <laughs> because of this artifact, show Jahira. Mm. Should we show it to her? I mean, I feel like she's going to be skeptical otherwise, because it is strange. The game really wants me to show this artifact to people, and I've been punished so far for not showing it. So, I figure I might as well show it. What in the hell is that thing? Tells you here everything you know about the artifact. Let's say... Well, I think we can trust her. She's an old friend. Yeah! Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? To destroy the absolute in its lair. Moonrise said, is it really? Moonrise, what? The absolutes, what? Did I miss that? It can't be there. Um, I'm here on a holiday. Oh my God. I want a cure for the parasite in my head. Moonrise Towers is my only lead. I think at this point, we're not getting that parasite out of our heads. We just got told in the last video, actually, by the most powerful wizard in the world, basically that it's not possible. He's like, there's no spell that's can, that can do it. Uh, and so, I mean, at this point, I've tried to do it like eight different times. So I'm gonna choose this, but I'm also, like, I don't really think this. I don't actually think that we can get rid of the Parasite and Moonrise Towers. Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard in case the vines gave you a rash. A rash? Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. This is actually perfect because I kind of want to change out my party a little bit. Look at Harper Darrow over here. If Jahira trusts you, I trust you. But I'll be damned if a bug brain doesn't creep me out. You know, you could have just not said that last part. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Jahira so the tieflings sure are here. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. Okay, you guys are being weird. Lysandra, Good please. Good to see a friendly face. Okay, that's all you have to say to me? What about you, Elifer? It's staring out into the dark so much as doing something to my eyes. Too dark to tell. Never thought I'd see the day Jahira shows mercy to a true soul. Or whatever it is you are. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not a true soul, so we can just, we can just say that much. Quartermaster Tolly. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. I could barely understand what you just said. Okay. 
Let me sell you my wares. Oh, you've got like, you've got like very rare stuff. Look at the very rare, very rare. Ooh, okay, guess what? I'm gonna sell you my wares. My, my, my wares. Let me give you my wares and you give me your rares. Wait, what am I? Trade? Barter? Look at <laughs> my wares. Incandescent staff. Ooh. This comes with fireball? That's 1925. It's pretty good. The shield, though, is pretty crazy. Cloak of protection. Plus one armor class. I don't think I have a cloak for anybody, so yeah, let me get that. Hmm. Hat of uninhibited Kushiko. It's not a hat, that's like a cowl. A hat. Defender Great Axe. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. But, yeah, I don't know. Arrow of Dragon Sling. Uh, let's see. Kind of want to get some trap disarm toolkits. And we'll bounce the offer a little bit. And yeah, let's barter. Thank you so much. Take okay, goodbye. Care. Yeah, we're all done, are we? Yeah, see, I, I, nobody has a, a cloak. Let's see. Yeah, nobody has a cloak. Well, well now. You know what? If I take it. Wait, where is it? Where did I put it? Why do I have these pristine mesh toe sandals? Oh, the dog got it for me. The dog. Um. Let's see. Where did I... Am I just... I feel like I'm glossing over... Oh, here it is. Armor class plus one. Ah. This, you know, this might be good for Gale. I think what I'll do right now is I'll go back to the camp. Yeah, let's go to camp. I'm gonna swap some people out and I'll return. Um, so... Sorry, Lazel, but we're kind of done what with you, you for a while. What are you thinking about? Uh, touching you... We got some infernal metal. What should we do with it? Yes! We need to go find Damon. I'm going to get a hug soon. Hell yeah, you are. Uh Come on, we're heading no out. No room in your party. What should I do? Uh just tell Lazel to get lost. Yeah, Lazel will leave. Excellent. Let's go. Yeah, that's good. All right. Ooh, Carlac level up. What a really? Charmer. Now, you, do you have any armor? Okay, you've got hide armor. That's fine. Oh, yeah, and then we've got you in your camp clothes. I forgot about that. Uh, right. Level seven. Except... Oh! It's just like a... Just like a stat increase. Nice. Oh, but yeah, don't we want Gale? On my way. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay. Moving in. I think that I'm going to replace Astarian with Gale for now. I know the Astarian fans are angry because you feel like he didn't get to spend that much time in the party, but I think Halston has like a tent Something's now. On my mind. The shadow curse is upon us, as foul as I remember it, perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't know. We're in the midst of the shadow curse now. Is there any more you can tell me about how to lift it? This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being. In the form of a young fae boy, 
with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, I honestly have no idea we can break about. the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. Okay, so if, if we find some pot smokers, I'll let you know. What should I look for? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the shadow curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness or some lingering echo of what we seek. Hmm. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. An unliving witness, you say? Perhaps like one in our own camp. Still feeling at home here with us? The surroundings are less bucolic, I understand. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company, a small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're welcome. Perhaps I could share more than a campfire. Don't get too sentimental. I had need of a guide in order to survive this curse. <laughs> I'm glad, but let's keep focused at the same time. Uh, you're right. You're, you're welcome. too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? That's true. That's true. Rotting in the goblin cells. I am pretty dying great. Dying against an onslaught on the grove. Ah. More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Are you hitting on me right now? Maybe you could show your appreciation of the... Uh, let's just... Let's just... Listen, I'm already juggling enough romances right now, okay? I'm having to, like, fend off Gale. I'm having, to, I'm having to, like, friend zone him. And then, like, I can't touch Karlak. And then Slim Shady's kind of in a weird cult. There's just... I've got a lot going on right now, Halzen. I understand how you feel. Yes. I think you do. Mm, you can't. me. Sometimes I forget myself. Gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. You know what's enough? We haven't done anything. I mean, I, I guess I guess we did save him from the dungeons of the goblin camp, but um <laughs> Blessing of Saluna. Saluna's radiance protects against the lesser effects of the shadow cursed. But beware, even her light cannot guard against the darkest shadows. Huh. Hey, Will. How, how's it going? Well met. Thank you, Will. Oh, nothing... No, no thoughts about the current predicament? Go ahead. I'm listening. Um... I do want... Gail with me. You know what? Because I was going to give him that cape. I basically just want to give him that cape and those gloves. That's like the main reason I want to have him, but... We'll, we'll leave Astarian in. That's because I know you guys are going to throw a fit about it otherwise. It could be like any other character. I could like... <laughs> I could like leave any other character behind and you guys would be like, Good! Leave them to rot! But if it's Astarian, you guys are like, No! <laughs> no, we put him back in the party! Forward. Let's deal with Kethrick, then find Voss in Boulder's Gate. Kethrick Thorn, right? Okay. So I guess really I just wanted Karlak back in the party. Okay, so sue me. <laughs> uh, right. And I think I'm good. Okay. Leave camp. Long rest? Long rest. Yeah, let's end the day. A scene. What? Oh my god. How do we romance her? Playtime's over, pet. Oh my god, don't call me that. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. 
Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. Mm, could They're be that powerful. in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. And this is our problem hell, exactly. We got a sasser so that Karlak likes us. Um, forget it. This asset can rot in the towers for all I care. <laughs> oh, if this devil's so powerful, how did they manage to get captured? This is, I'm going to say that. Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, okay. be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. My save failed for, for, for perception. I wanted to. I wanted to learn about that. Okay. Well, no. Well, now I gotta talk to you again. Uh. Look. <laughs> Will's not drinking anymore. Now he's got something to say. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. <laughs> she is a devil. <laughs> she is a devil. So yeah, I guess you're not wrong. Let's see. I'm gonna get you out of this pact. Any idea who this devil is that needs free? Not a one. All that matters is that we free it. Fail. Wow. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. Damn. That's horrifying. That's not going to happen. You are everything you accused Karlak of being. I'm not sorry for you. What a horrible thing to say. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> okay. You know what? We should have Will join us. Hmm. Maybe a little later. Well. Yeah, maybe when we get to Moonrise Towers, we'll have him in the party. That sounds better. Astarian wants to talk. What the hell? Okay, well, we gotta go because I've seen the exclamation marks disappear before, so we gotta get in there. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. Why? I certainly hope we don't. That fiend is far from our friend. I think he'll stay the perfect gentleman, as long as we read the fine print. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. You will help me find him, won't you? Wait. Uh, I mean, if you want to, then sure. Perfect. I knew you would understand. Okay. Yeah, I don't really understand. Wait, where's Barkus? Where's Barkus? Barkus! Okay, there's Scratch. Oh my God, Carlac wants to talk now. Uh, well, there's Withers. Where the hell is Barkus? Maybe I missed him. Huh. So, no, that's I'll what shut people up. mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. I remembered! Did you want something? I remembered night orchids were a favorite flower when I picked it. 
Who's a good fictional romantic partner? And and in real life too, uh, but not for her. Okay, let's see. Night orchids. Rings a bell. Why? <laughs> Just happens I have one right here. Oh hells! You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking. They're safe. I didn't buy it. And beautiful. Thank you. I figured you wouldn't want a I poisonous flower. I don't have flower. anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I better take it back then. I'm sure you'll come up with something in time. We'll see. Give me a while to put my imagination to work. Okay. Why are these always these these dialogue options are always available? Oh, to bloom in darkest night, give Shadowheart a night orchid, her favorite flower. I got an achievement for that. No way. Always knew she was a softy, is what it says. Wait, did I get? What did I just get? I got like a, a quest updated, didn't I? Daughter of Darkness. We gifted Shadowheart a Night Orchid. She was greatly appreciative of the gesture. <laughs> wow, fantastic, dude. Okay, um, let's go talk to Karlak and then we're out of here. Hey. God damn it. Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Yeah, she's got some or good assets. Far worse. Um, let's see. Will's relationship with Mizora is transactional. This could end in our favor. After what Will sacrificed to save you, it's time to repay the favor. Mm, that's a good point. If we don't help, Mizora will turn Will into a Lemure. I don't know what that. What is that? What is that? I never forget what Will did. Not ever. I'm here because of him. And I'd do just about anything to help him. But devils never lose. You know that, right? Sure, they'll give you a bit of tat here and there. But the house always wins. No, I get it. I get it. No, I, I, I don't like it either. Frankly, so... Yeah, trust me, I'm I'm not happy about it. Okay, does anyone else want to talk? Holy hell. Bunch of chatterboxes all of a sudden. Yeah, good. Okay. I'm leaving. Um Okay, I'm just gonna Yeah, throw a fish head in there. Let's throw as many, like, tiny little ones as I can. Six, three, three. That's good. Okay. I've got too many camp supplies. Just get them out of there. Get them out of my inventory. I don't, I don't want to see them ever again. <laughs> the voice of the absolute is strong here. Oh, my God. I'm getting stronger. What? <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can resist it. What? Why are you wearing pajamas? You making progress. What? <laughs> what use have you of pajamas in this world? Can I also ask something? Like, why would you switch you into comfy route here. pajamas, but then have metal rings around thing, your arm? Wouldn't that defeat the purpose? In the grove. Thank you. Yeah, see, like, look, she's got all these, like, you know, uh, fitted metal bracelets around her arms and stuff but then she's like let me slip into something a little more comfortable my pajamas and it's like you know maybe you could just take off the metal bracelets i don't know wasn't even a choice they needed my help not everyone would have helped i know the hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you what is it? The voice of the absolute. Stronger this time. 
It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. <sighs> I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Hmm. My transformation. Uh, let's see. Where the orders are coming from. There is no doubt. Moonrise Towers. Hey, I'm on my way there right now. Every all roads lead to Moonrise my Towers. Powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Why does the Absolute want you? <laughs> kind of catty. Okay. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. <sighs> Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. Okay, I mean, I believe you and everything, but uh, I feel like I've been in camp for like 40 minutes, so I'd like to get back on the road. Not even on the road, just back to Last Light Inn, or whatever it's called. Oh my god, we're still- what? We're st I'm not- I'm not doing this. I'm going- I'm leaving. Leaving camp. Hey, if I kill the dream visitor, can I get her pajamas? What? Carlac. Oh, Carlac's here! Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. THE Jahira. I know! You know her? Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! It's pretty cool. You want to talk again, apparently? So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is... I've got like four I of them. think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel okay. used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Hmm. Soul coins contain people's souls? They're already lost. Better to be used in service of the good guys than a devil, don't you think? Next time That's we're true. in a nasty battle, drop one my way. You'll enjoy the results. Okay, so... You know, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because it's, it's not like you can get them out of the coin and back into a human body. Yeah. Intriguing. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Uh, well, we could try me in just a little bit. Who's talking over here? Harper... Uh, what are you doing? Hi. True soul, I believe. How fortunate we are to have you among us. Is that sarcasm? Seemed like you were being a little sarcastic there. 
Yeah. Take a stroll, have a drink. Enjoy them while you can. Everybody's such a downer around here. Have you noticed that? Wow. Okay. Wow. This. Uh... Oh, I see. Nice. Okay. So it's all the way over there. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm back. Um, Harper Lynn. Shadows lurking. Light inside. Look. Oh, wow, what uh, that, that conversation was really worth my time. Pardon, but I'm no mind for small talk. Okay. Fuck you. Skywin, why do you keep walking past me? Hi. Free as you are, this is no time for a natter. Head on into last light. Everybody is hitting on me. Uh, it's just like real life. Best head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. All right, Legolas. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you've decided to greet me in here. Hey, that's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. The Given likes the rest, of me. Alfred, we need all the gods damned help we can get. That's true. I expected a bit more decorum from a flaming fist soldier. Oh, I see. Glare at old thread. What party is it that I'm crashing? Let's Rescue just party. That. Not that you'll give a triple shot, Dan, but we were ambushed by their bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. I feel like I need to have Will in my party. I don't know. There's so many people I need to have in my party. <laughs> Um, it feels like. Let's see. Oh, it's there. I don't suppose Councillor Flork made it all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside one of the ground floor chambers. Oh, really? Guess she need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Okay. Wish we gear up. All this standing around is making me antsy. Yeah, you, you're not gonna do shit. I hate to God spoil it for you, but hope you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Teradicia up here. <laughs> well, you got a bridge around here somewhere? Because if you did, it'd be the bridge to Teradicia. From up here, you can almost pretend Isabel's light is the sun. Thank you. You might want to lay off the eyeliner. Holy hell, did you see that? You can see it from space. Um, there's a light crossbow down here, apparently. Plus one. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so... Ah, okay. We can go there some other time. Not right now. Uh, right now we're at the last light in doing what we do best schmoozing That is what we do best isn't it what the hell is there's like a blast mine there We don't want to disarm that I don't think hi Bex. Please. I just want to be alone Uh, I remember you Bex right. Where's your man? Gone. Cultists it was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. Wow. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still well, that walk guy just appeared. to Moonrise Towers. Mm. I managed to get away. But my love... Dennis. Martin Dahl, Roshan. You really took your time saying that, didn't you? Um, how did you manage to get away? So what you're saying is you saved yourself and left your soulmate to die. That's so mean. I've always been good at running. Unlike Dennis. That's too I bad. I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could yeah, have Yeah, I mean, goodbye. you didn't need to outrun the bad guys. You just needed to outrun Dennis. Dennis could still be alive. Don't give up on him yet. Sound like sounds like your boy toys goblin chow. 
Can you imagine saying that? Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. Yeah, it sounds like your boy toy's him. goblin chow. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'll find Danis and bring him back to you. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe it would, maybe it would mean like a couple hundred coins to you, perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> Hi. Jahir is godsend in the flesh. Pleasure to have you. I'm getting such a mixed response here. Jahira's godsend. There's a table down here. Let's see what this does. Oh, well, there's a crate right here. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. Damn. Okay. Hey, Nasa. You need something? Ask Jahira. I'm on duty. Yeah. Guarding the already protected place, are we? Any help for you? I mean, I guess, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever makes you feel useful. Last light's best bargains right here. What? Where is that coming from? Where the hell did that come right from? I have no idea where that came from. <gasps> did I talk to this guy? I can't remember. What am I doing up here? Ooh, there's a torch. I'm actually, I actually want that now. Queen of Ravens. Okay. In that time of shattered allegiances between elven gods and with the adulation of the Shadar Kai elves in her pocket, the woman bid her followers elevate her to godhood. Do it, and I'll reforge our broken pantheon, she said. Do it, and I'll make things sweet and synchronous again. And they did, all but the dissenters in her avid flock, who during the ritual of godly ascension tried to wrest power from the woman. At the crucial moment, she tore the dissenters apart. With the ritual irrevocably disturbed, the queen and her Shadar Kai found themselves flung across the plains into the eerie and terrible realm called the Shadowfell. The journey killed her, yet from the corrupted ashes she rose, a queen both with both of her eyes and her serving birds as dark as her ambition. So was born the Raven Queen, <laughs> mistress of life and death. It's a great story, I guess. Um, not really useful, though. Hi. Poor Jonas. Kid was as green as they come. We've saved him. Hi. He was joking this morning. Jonas, I mean. Give her time to speak. He was always joking. Said it was good for morale, but he just liked seeing people laugh. He was a good harper. A good friend. Yeah. I'm sure he'd appreciate your prayers. I hope so. They're all I have to give. Thank you. You're a good person. I am? Uh, Shadow Hearts inspired. Apparently. <laughs> I mean... Okay. Yeah, sure. Who's this? Look at him waddling here. Harper Teebs. I love I love seeing like the little gnomes and dwarves around. Open up. Hey, does anybody know about this heavy chest back here? There's some gold. I'm not picking up any more arrows. They're a waste of space. Oh yeah, you guys were getting kind of mad at me because I wasn't picking up literally everything that I went across. Um I mean, I just I I don't want to have to do that much inventory sorting. Um, what are you doing? 
Just about do. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. Okay. You don't think. <gasps> Damn it! What? Strange Ox is here! Strange Ox is Karlak. here! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Okay. Well, give us the good I only news. need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang I on. mean... <laughs> I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Let's let Damon speak. This sounds important. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. For good. This thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that'll let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Come on, give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Yeah, I don't know how you do it so fast, but... Yeah, he's like, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna just uh, hammer it a couple times, and... Uh, that should do it. Damn, should I be worried? Same as last time. About when she touches me. You need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. Am I gonna? Am I gonna be safe? <laughs> so did it. Work? Only one way to find out. Lay a hand on her. Pull her into a hug. Let's go for it, dude. I've got armor on. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Feel the cool armor against your... <laughs> against your skin. Feel how deeply impersonal. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment. We are talking just about this. It's too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that. But the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making you any headway this with earlier? mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. Yeah. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. Damn it, I shut won't up. stop trying to figure out a cure. But at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. We'll have to make the inevitable evitable then. First things first, Croc, you have touchback. We ought to celebrate that. Right? 
all this doom and gloom. I have something far more exciting on my mind than this bloody tin box. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? All right. Well, next uh, camp should be interesting. You. Right? Carlac, okay. This is the best day. <laughs> And you find out about the, the strange dogs. Stay. But yeah, sorry. Um, I'm so happy for you, for both of us. <laughs> Me too. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. Mm. I know we have important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. Yeah. We can talk about the engine later. What the hell? Okay, we're gonna be mushy. I'm gonna hold you as close as possible. Oh man, I can't wait. Well, we're gonna have to <laughs> because I got a strange ox to talk to. Oh my god. We know that you're not an animal, though. Sneer at the disgusting beast. Peer at the ox with interest. There's something in his eyes. Oh my god. Whoa. Roll again. This is what it's for. Do I use two roll agains? One more. Three and four are just so bad. Thank you. Oh my god. I didn't need 21, but okay. There's an invitation behind its great brown eyes. I'm gonna try to pet the ox. Okay. Now, uh... Look where the TV is No. Still incapable. <laughs> incapable of what? Not for you to know. What the hell is going on? Ah, come on. You're the oxen back in the grove. You were very hungry then. I saved you all, and now you have food. Ah. Oh, my God. I'm about to become inconsolable if this continues to happen. Fourteen shouldn't be that hard to get. Oh, my God. Ah, thank you. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. You sound so threatening. You sound so evil. What? Are you satisfied? Yeah, those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. What are you really? Keep quiet. And you won't have to find out. I mean, you're hiding. Is that stuff that you lived through or stuff that you inflicted? It's safe with me. Good little hero. Oh, okay. I thought that. Okay, I got I got a couple of uh, achievements. Okay, well, what about you? Do you like our new friend? He's new. What about you? What is this ox doing over here? Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed, I am. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to see you made it too. I remember you from the grove with the druid. I hoped to see you again, and now I have. 
How'd you make it through the shadows? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. Okay. Fantastic. This strange ox is annoying me. Moo. What the hell is he doing? Okay. What's up here? Hmm. There's a rustic chest back here. Oh my god. Astarian! Okay, I'm gonna give you another chance. You better not get a critical fail on this one. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. That's what I need every time. Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Rippling force mail, 17 armor class. It's rare heavy armor. Well, let's go ahead and send that to camp. It's worth a thousand. Whoa. Um, okay. There's not really anything else up here. Can I hop down here? Apparently it makes me prone. Ah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. Rotten Baragost Blue Wedge. Absolutely not. We're not taking that. Okay, so... Where else do we want to go? Well, we gotta go in here, obviously. I'm gonna do that last. I just wanna make sure that everything else... Yep, okay. Let's go in here now. Into the actual last light in. Oh, another stuffed bear, huh? Darkmaw the Wicked. What a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Last light I'm, hatching, buddy. Right here. I'm gonna need you guys to get those nature skill checks. Wait, that bear? Darkmaw the Wicked? The terror of Cloakwood? <laughs> oh my god, you a star in. more children than any vampire. And look at you now. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a vampire? This place gives me the creeps. Looks like a bear. Wow, Starion was actually useful for something. Call me surprised. Have a gander at the finest stock. You are a little swindler. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can, but if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam, we were all like, whoa. Fascinating story, kid. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't put any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Hmm, no. Ah! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Scamming with the greats. Carol really looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. I'm moving over in my Premium camera. Have I been over out. here the whole time, I think? We've gone legitimate. And Mol put me in charge. What do you need? You guys talk for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. 
Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. I don't really trust you. Maul said I could have it. <laughs> it's like a Jedi mind trick. Maul said I could have it. If it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? Okay, let's try it. Oh, I got it! Yes! I got it! No, she didn't. Give it or I'm telling Mole on you. <laughs> oh, it only takes a six. Well, now I feel kind of bad. Kind of went overkill there by 20 points. Ugh, fine. Yeah. Don't feel too bad about it. Last light's best bargains, right tower, here. Tower shaped key. Well, no, where is it? Ugh. Latest. Okay. Oh, it's on my keychain, isn't it? Um. Charred key, tower shaped key. Okay, can I see it? Yeah. Okay, I got it. I mean, it's it's not the Moonrise Tower, Moonrise Tower key, right? Like that's what they that's what they anticipate that you're gonna you're gonna think that it is. Let's look at the sign in list. Let's see anybody that we recognize. Uh, I think a couple of these were from the Grove. Other than that, I don't, I don't really know. Premium trinkets and doodads. Hi there. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Zevlor's Saris, here. Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap, only for me to land them in this one. Well. Oh. Were you at the I must have not talked to you. That sucks. I don't see Zephlor. Aye, and more than half the others with him. No, we were Zephlor. Out in the cursed lands, cultists of this absolute. Zephlor froze, begged us to surrender, but. Zephlor. They were Come toying on. with us, making examples, and we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others, maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Hmm. I hope you survived. <laughs> Coward. Hmm. Let's see. You did right. You do not want to be the prisoner of the absolute. Prison's the best I can hope for the ones we left behind. Zevlor seemed to think the cult wanted us alive. I almost hope he never found out why. We'll leave soon. Well, we we're gonna we're gonna go find him. Don't want okay. to do talk. is here. We're probably not gonna talk to her. Um, oh my god, we gotta talk to his majesty. Hiss. I say hiss. It's a hairless cat. What's got your whiskers in a twist? This is my territory, and you're in it. Astarian, this is you, as a cat. Oh my god, Astarian's a cat. That explains why you guys like him so much. He's like a cat, but in human form. Okay. Let's see. My intentions are pure. I only want to admire you up close. Mm, I'll allow it. See, Astarian approved! Astarian approves! Quite the specimen you are. How'd you come to this place? You seem like someone who knows what he's about. Or anything interesting Don't around here? To notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. How'd you come to this I place? I slinked, of course. Hmm. You've had enough. Now go. A story improved yes. again. Astarian approved ag twice. Premium trinkets and 
does. Marcus, here you are. Ah, you found your way. Good. Now, what are you doing fiddling over here? I told you I'd help rescue Wolbrin. This is my first stop. I haven't forgotten. And as it happens, I was making something to help you on your way. Is that so? That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. Yeah, of course. In that yeah. case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. Ooh. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. Obviously. You'll need it if you're going to save Wolbrin. Okay. Wolbrin. Wolbrin, who? Oh my god, you could be such an asshole in this game if you want to be. Uh, how did Deep Nose get trapped they in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. I didn't like any of those Taken dialogue options, by the way. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you... I hope will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus... I will make it. Okay. I like the name. What does it do? Let's not ruin the surprise. Hmm? Oh my gosh. You, it better be useful. You do whatever it is you do. Well, Some you of have us seen are me. counting on you. You have seen me in action, Barkus. What do you mean, whatever it is I do? Oh my god. It's Raphael playing chess with Maul, and he has 666 HP. Oh my god. Your move, Maul. You trapped me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Say, huh? do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. No, I do not play it. Now my insight did not did not help me there. You shouldn't be playing games with this man. He's a devil. <laughs> How do you think it's gonna go over with Maul? Put pressure on him. Accidentally jostle the board Maul's way. I mean I could probably do it. He's gonna notice. Raphael's gonna notice that I did this. But I'm sure his ego can stand to lose to a kid. Oh, oops. <laughs> you interfere. You dare interfere with me. <laughs> How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? Hmm. Maul's too smart to, to accept it, I think. Yeah, that got you your answer. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. Were you she with us the first time? Of course. But that's half a charm. Just bugger off back to hell, would you? And what was the other half? A star in, come on! My favorite kind. Ambition. 
But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, mm -hmm. let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old, well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. Don't play games, Raphael. Help him out. The thing is, Raphael's always going to play games. This is a bad idea, Starring. We should find another way. Oh, such impatience. It's something very important to your master, but... Is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry, I'm motivated to help you. Scars? often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Hmm. He disappears. I'm inspired. Oh, because I used deception. I used sleight of hand. The cat's sleeping now. Astarian's inspired too. So. So, the untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. Yes, yeah, very stupid of you to notice. Hand, but she can still snap me in two, so uh, uh, probably safe is to skip it. Mm. Oh, nothing else to say. Shadowheart, what do you think? Poor Karlak. She can finally seek out the touch of another. Moi? Only to be told she might not have much time left. Yeah. You know what? This is kind of awkward. I'm going to leave this conversation now. So... Wait, what's back here? Ooh, what's back here? Hmm... That might be worth a look. Loose plank? Oh, Snowburst Ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 4.5 meter circle of ice around the target. Scribbled note. How much longer must I languish here? I hope to be in Baldur's Gate a 10 day ago, but that blasted toll house keeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about Your this, he'll be furious. Serve drinks, you little devil. Do oh it. my God. Whoa. Stop shouting. I'm Do I need... Shouting. Do I need to interfere? Something odd about this village. People skulk around like they have something to hide. The shrines of the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I hope to learn more about Kethric Thorm, the village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can burn another hour in this loathsome place. Hi. Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. Me still breathing is, is the best we can hope for. Okay. Fire Amber. Mud method ring, thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Okay. Wait. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh my God, Roland. This guy. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Did you? She's 
saves the kid. Oh, it's you. I'd recognize that self-righteous tone anywhere. Hmm. If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. Hmm, don't sound so jealous. Heard about the attack in the shallows. I'm here to help. Oh, sod off! I'm only here because you helped me and my family. I did help you. I was ready to cut and run back at the grove, but you had other ideas. Better ideas. Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. Why well, they have memorized towers? I'm going there anyway. I'll set them all free. Then it's my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. Well, then what are you doing? <laughs> you go save the world, or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do, I'll fix this. You're not gonna fix shit. You aren't gonna be fixing shit, dude. Um. Have a gander at the finest stock. What's over here? Oh my god, there's so many people to talk to here. Whew. Okay, you know what? We've been going for a while on this video. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. I want to talk to everybody in Last Slide in before I end of the video, but there's just so many. So, and then I'm going to take it Premium trinkets here and, and uh, take my leave here, rather. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, it's great to be in Act 2, isn't it? It's great to be sinking down on my face cam, isn't it? I look like a little gnome now, right? A little deep gnome. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll see you in the, the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3 in two days. Let me know what you thought about this episode. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time, I guess. Okay, I'm just going to end now. Bye. Critically.